Okay, next up in the red corner we've got Ollie Simpson. Simpson is fighting at a battlefield gym in Glasgow. He's wearing the black and Union Jack shorts. His opponent in the blue corner, Stuart Pryor. Pryor fighting at a Liberty Gym, Nottingham. Simpson, 32 years old. Pryor, 23. Just remember, age counts for experience in this sport. Big shots there from Pryor. Some nice tasty little jabs from Simpson as we go to the clinch on the sidewalk. Now, I was having a chat with the lads in the change room earlier and uh, Stuart Pryor told me there's a little bit of a bet going on with him and his friend. As we see Simpson going for a guillotine, choking a takedown. He turns over. I might have to tell you about that bet later because this looks far more interesting. He's going for a nice deep guillotine from the top position from Simpson. But Pryor's done well and he's popped his head out. So back to that bet. Pryor was having a little wage in, and not that I would ever promote gambling, as I am a mature individual. Um, but apparently they have had a bit of a bet that if he could sink a head kick in, his mate would buy him five pints tonight. No chance of that at the moment, I'm afraid, Stuart. Um, as Ollie Simpson tightens a second guillotine attempt. With a guillotine, which does look like the schoolboy's headlock, but it isn't, I can assure you. With the guillotine, you have to control the hips as well as the head, and this is, uh, this is what Stuart Pryor is making good use of and protecting his hips, popping his head out as he's now on his back with a guard position wrapped around Ollie Simpson's body. And he rides high with that guard position, so the legs coming up high on Simpson's shoulders. Simpson looking to stack up. Uh, what Pryor could do here is grab the leg. Oh, and he does. I was going to look down to look at my notes, and he's done it. Grab the leg and uh, sweep Simpson down onto the floor. There we see he's in a transition to a reverse armbar, which could be the most fancy move I've seen at an amateur event yet. Gives up on that one. Simpson postures up again. So we can see Pryor is thinking about rubber guard. He's thinking about the option. He knows all the moves. That's, that's very, very clear. So I'm expecting to see some 
nice submission attempts coming soon. Bit of a mistake there from Pryor. Unfortunately, that meant that uh, go, going for that fancy late move there has meant that Simpson has managed to break out into side. He's now posturing up into what we call top and tail. Simpson going for the guillotine again. That seems to be his favourite submission. on the clock, two minutes remaining of the first of our two amateur rounds. Big left hook from Pryor. Followed by a straight right and Simpson straight in for the clinch. Double under hooks and he gets the takedown. Now he gets that leg stuck in half guard, he clears it. No he doesn't. Pryor takes it back. So half guard position being when the man on the ground controls one of the legs so we can see Pryor has just loosely got a half guard very loosely on Simpson's left leg Simpson with a nice swift kick to the behind of Stuart Pryor quite sure that is an aid off now we're going to see either an Americano or a Kimura here no we're not we're too fast for that. I simply can't talk quick enough to keep up with the moves. Simpson passes the half guard again, so he's into side control. Oh, he goes for one of my favourite moves, a reverse triangle. Not very often seen in MMA. I would like to see this pulled off. Very nice. Now what you can see is that he's actually got Pryor's right arm as well. So there's two submissions here, the triangle and a reverse Kimura or key lock. And it's on. There we go. Stuart Pryor literally kicking himself. Don't be ashamed. It's a difficult manoeuvre to pull off. And it's one that's not often trained. Impressive stuff there for both guys.